how can I advise you to raise a capital? I'm not a magician. I'll be very honest to you to say, uh, I, I know it's easier to raise capital when you could take something from Grant's position where you can tell somebody, uh, because business is what I'm into, that I started selling water with 5,000 Naira. I've taken this water business to a 50,000 Naira turnover. I want to sell also ice cream. And I've studied this ice cream. If somebody can give me additional 100,000 or two, I can make 300,000 turnover. The person will look at the things you are telling him, that you took 5,000 Naira and you brought that business to 50,000 substantial things he can be late to. He can take a risk on you to say the same sense with which you do this, you will do the other one and you will not jump out. It's easy to support you with capital. But to say I'm running an NGO, I want to raise a capital. Frankly, I don't know the model that works on it, but I know that if there's something you start and you are doing it in a sustainable manner and the inhibition is capital and you know what to do, fund will meet you if you are passionate about that and to take it to another level. That I am sure. To a young man, you are not only, it's not you only that is in that. Very many of us starting as young people make that mistake. And that's what we call working hard to defy your gratification. That's part of the things I tell you that once people see money passing through your hand, there are agents who are there to show you land every day. This land is for sale. This land is for sale. You know, the, 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 the bank can tell you, you know, you can borrow money and bring collateral. I also borrowed money. The first money I borrowed in African Continental Bank, ACB, was 1,000 Naira. And I told, if I turn up, turn over, the bank will give me money. I rushed to my store. I didn't even sell anything. Before the bank closed, I went to pay 250 Naira. The following day, I went to pay 150 Naira because I'm trying to turn up, turn up, turn up. So I was doing that. The bank were collecting commission. By the fourth month, the 1,000 1, Naira remained 750. I put my two hands in here. I said, Shay, is that how they borrow money from the bank? I tried and went back and paid the 1,000 bank to uh, African Continental. And I made up my mind that I would never borrow from bank. You may be surprised if you know where Kosharis Plaza is in Adiolo Dek in Victoria Island. Till I built that building, I never borrowed from any bank. I plowed back every income we earned into the business and started generating internal revenue. But when I started hiring staff, I wanted to put them on the spot because if they only trade with my money and we are making big profit, because I also have what we call profit sharing scheme in my company, they will be taking profit from my hard work. So I wanted us to borrow money and pay interest so I can put money in some other investment so they know whether they are really creating wealth or not. It is after we, bought, we built that building that we started borrowing money from the bank. But many young people make mistake to show they have arrived, put money into this other thing. What I do advise sincerely is that your capital is part of your intelligence. If you know what you are doing in the business, you need all the cash. This is your life stream. That is the blood of every business. Forget about asset you have. You can have all the asset. If you are not liquid, you run bankruptcy. Cash is a king in business. So if you have asset to sell, please sell it. I'm not advising you from... When I separated with my former partner, David Musu, we have a prime property in Onisha. Almost opposite to Kawu, the land there. He talked about, I said, if you like, buy my own that I'm ready to sell it. I sold it to Dalgo. I put the cash into my business. Because I need cash to really expand that business. To really make it what it will be. If you are not liquid, 
you will default in your obligation. You create suspicious in the mind of your creditors. They become, and once they start closing up on you, tighten up. But if you are liquid, nobody can. Actually, today people think I am the richest man in Africa. No. I have no credit. The best thing you can get is free from is all suppliers' credit. Your capital is part of your intelligence. If you know what you are doing in the business, you need all the cash. This is your life stream. That is the blood of every business. Forget about asset you have. You can have all the asset. If you are not liquid, you will run bankruptcy. Cash is a king in business. So if you have asset to sell, please sell it. I'm not advising you from me. When I separated with my former partner, David Musu, we had a flying property in Onisha. Almost opposite to Kawu, the land there. He talked about, I said, if you like, buy my own that I'm ready to sell it. I sold it to Dalgo. I put the cash into my business. Because I need cash to really expand that business. To really make it what it will be. If you are not liquid, you will default in your obligation. You create suspicious in the mind of your creditors. They become... And once they start closing up on you, tighten up. But if you are liquid, nobody can. Actually, today people think I am the richest man in Africa. No, I have no credit. The best thing you can get is free from is called supplier's credit. Supplier's credit is where people entrust things in your hand. Even Ford Motor Company consigned vehicle to me. BMW, people thought I print money. During Koja, I had over 1,000 cars I gave Nigerian government to run Koja. I pay after 270 days. I built my business. The least people that give me the lowest credit is the Japanese, and that is 45 days from the death of Bill of Laden. I didn't pick it on the street. I built it. I want people to know that I'm credible and that your things are safe in my hand. And that under any circumstances, if I make a commitment to you on the day of payment, that I will pay. I didn't pick it on the street. It's not somebody that tell people, believe me now, believe me now. Nobody wants to believe you. People want to see action that they will believe. I hired a, a guy from bank, the first bank staff that I hired, Josiah Samuel. Exchange rate moved from 20 naira to 80 naira in one day. And we need to make a payment on the 28th of that month. If we made it about 25 years ago, I would lose 100 million naira. He told me, let's explain this to people, that this is a phenomenon. Everybody know that this just happened overnight. It's not our problem. I said, sorry, we don't talk like that in Kosharis. We committed to this man that will pay him on the 28th. He did not do business with Nigerian government. He did business with us. I took a head cut of 100 million. 100 million naira 25 years ago for me is like 20 billion today or more. But I paid. If you read my book, he will say he got a shock of his life coming from banking industry that I had that attitude. This attitude makes me today. They tell you Chinese don't give anybody credit. You must pay 30%. When you pay 30%, then they will ship before they give you bill of lady. Chinese give me 120 days from the death of bill of lady. If you're a Chinese working with me today, all my Chinese suppliers give me credit. Because all I need to do is I said, can you take reference from BMW? Can you take reference from uh, KG International? Can you take reference from this? If you want to work with us, that this is our condition. We don't pay for anything. We trade with people's money. And when all this money passed through bank, bank, I never want to, people at a time growing up, based on this discipline I have, People don't know what I want when I was still living in Ajegule. And the story went out that I used Juju to make money. That any day I build a house in Lagos, I will die. I told people, don't be afraid. My wife told me that people said that. I told her, I said, if I need to die, I have to die. But I will never take the capital I'm doing business to go and build a house to be able to manage people's feelings. Hi. Hi. <laughs>
Because to manage, yeah, to manage people stealing, that's why I have to put myself in bondage. Michael. Everybody is entitled to his opinion. God gave it to you. It's your right, it's your right to think like that. <laughs> but that you that should not program me. I told my wife, I said, instead of going to use one billion to build a house to say I live in Ikoyi, why not I rent a house in Ikoyi? Even if I'm paying 100 million, if I take two, 20, 10 billion and put it in the bank at 28% interest, I'll be getting 280 million every year. So I can take 150 and pay for rent, then I'm still making capital. If I'm going to build a house, I'm going to build it out of comfort. I eventually bought property. I live in Ikoi, in a very prime property. That, that the price is over ten million, ten million dollar. And I built a good house. If you come to my house, you know it's a good house. But I built it without my business blinking one day. I will never compromise that for the business. So it had to come from sustainable income. Why are you in a hurry to show that you have arrived? Mm. Those buildings you make does not generate any income to you. It's just for people to think you have had money and then they will all come on your neck to bring some of that money. You will accept the story of Capital Oil. Nobody knew who I am. I built the building in Costa People say, who is this Costa What did they do? They, they said that company that played table tennis. It was the issue. <laughs> Because we were not even selling more today. But people don't know that my business is pharmaceutical of automobile. Hmm. Anybody that drives a car in Nigeria is my customer. Hmm. I'm happy if the cars are on the road. If you have accident, that is even the best. Hmm. <laughs> there are two paint companies that supply paint around the world. Both of them are under my company separate company they don't know but i own the other company somebody has run it for me 